when a Christian sins. One, when a Christian sins, he becomes a disobedient child. When a real Christian commits sin, he remains a child of God, but he makes his heavenly father sad. Every Christian remains prone to commit sins, so God has made provision for us his children. Those who are believers in Christ Jesus can no longer be condemned. God is faithful and reliable. If we confess our sins, He forgives them and cleanses us from everything we have done wrong. If we say, We have never sinned, we turn God into a liar, and His word is not in us. If anyone does sin, we have Jesus Christ, who has God's full approval. He speaks on our behalf when we come into the presence of the Father. He is the payment for our sins. 2. When a Christian sins, he no longer enjoys his fellowship with God. When a real Christian commits sin, God keeps on loving him, but God feels sad, and will discipline him. Do not give God's Holy Spirit any reason to be upset with you. The Lord disciplines everyone he loves. He severely disciplines everyone he accepts as his child. Endure your discipline. God corrects you as a father corrects his children. Ask God to forgive you and to restore the joy of being saved. Blessed are those whose disobedience is forgiven and whose sins are pardoned. 3. When a Christian sins, he loses the reward that he could have earned. When a real Christian commits sin, he will be judged for his sin. The day will make what each one does clearly visible because fire will reveal it. That fire will determine what kind of work each person has done. If what a person has built survives, he will receive a reward. If his work is burned up, he will suffer the loss. However, he will be saved, though it will be like going through a fire. It is better confess our sins and abandon them, then God will fill you again with his spirit, our Father in heaven. Let your name be kept holy. Forgive us, as we forgive others, do not allow us to be tempted. Instead, rescue us from the evil one. 4. When a Christian sins, he is no longer sure that he is saved. When a real Christian commits sin, he loses the peace and joy that come from God's Holy Spirit. The effects of the corrupt nature are obvious. People who do these kinds of things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the spiritual nature produces love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So let God forgive you and give you strength to please him. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their corrupt nature along with its passions and desires. If we live by our spiritual nature, then our lives need to conform to our spiritual nature. 5. When a Christian sins continually, he is not saved and will be lost. A church member who sins habitually, and never repents, was never born again, and will be lost forever. We know that those who have been born from God do not go on sinning, rather, the Son of God protects them, and the evil one cannot harm them. Pray for unsaved Christians to repent and put their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. God has given us eternal life, and this life is found in his Son. The person who has the Son has this life. The person who does not have the Son of God does not have this life.